for recording. Okay, hey, I'm here with Dr. Art Papier. Is that right? Yep. Great. Who's a dermatologist and a teacher, yep. Yep. and uh, he's been, I guess, spearhead or CTO. Uh, one of the co-founders. Co-founders. Of and uh, and that's a large platform. And what do you guys cover inside that? We uh, develop Visual DX for the professional and skin sight for consumers, and it's based on the most comprehensive image collection in medicine today. It allows physicians to search by patient factors on the desktop or on the mobile device to develop a differential diagnosis. So you just showed me the uh, the web the website application, which is very impressive. And in that, you can put uh, one or more symptoms, and the thing starts to show you various skin presentations, but also X-rays. Is that right? Correct. And yeah. so I'm going to show you on the iPhone how in about 10 seconds, if you type correctly, yeah. that you can get to a differential diagnosis. Great. That's it. All right. So yeah. we'll start it up. Here's the iPhone. We're going to launch the Visual DX mobile application. And so we're going to build a differential, and we're going to say it's an adult patient that's travel, so I'm choosing international travel. I'm going to type in that the patient, for instance, is a soldier back from Iraq. So I enter Iraq, and then I can enter the visual finding and say that I see an ulcer on the skin, say done. And then it gives me the differential of an ulcer in a patient that's traveled to Iraq. The third diagnosis down is the diagnosis that's pretty common in people traveling to that part of the world, the Mideast, which is old world leishmaniasis, which I can then choose. It will give me access to text in not only one picture, but many different examples of the way leishmaniasis looks on the skin. The most important thing is that we, we don't just show the proplastic example of the disease, we show the variants. Exactly, because I mean, the, even the most uh, well uh, read uh, uh, ER doc probably has never seen leishmaniasis except maybe in a book. Right. Yeah. And, and it might not present classically. So, what we do is we show here's the, the classic example, which is an ulcer in the skin. But within these stacks of picture, pictures are other presentations yeah. of leishmaniasis. So, it's really a, a very basic concept of providing image matches based on searching your patient's symptoms. And in addition, to the pictures, you're also going to give us some idea about therapies? Indeed. So if I go back to the text, let me spin it around again. Here is the management pearls, and right below it, the therapy for leishmaniasis. So you can access, get a differential diagnosis, access management and therapy, and as you saw it, in just about a minute. And who are the contributors? Where did the content come from? Content has been developed by our editorial group. We have over 100 physicians doing peer-reviewed work from the medical literature. All the findings in the database are abstracted from um, PubMed and the medical literature, and um, the images come from leading university collections as well as uh, some experts that work with us. We have a worldwide network of physicians that send us digital images. We receive collections of images from India, and our goal really is to represent disease, not just in light skin, but also dark skin, early and late, mild and severe, all different kinds of examples of disease so that the user using the system feels that they're having a match to what they're seeing on their So they can, this product could be used anywhere in the world. Correct. Yeah. And, you know, it, where it's heading is with geo positioning, the phone can interpret where you are. So and show you appropriate images. Yeah, pro, show you appropriate images yeah. for where you're using the phone. So we're working towards that as well. Now, on the iPhone, do you have the radiology product? That, that's even a broader audience. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, emergency physicians often don't have a radiologist on on staff, so here you'll see on the pulmonary, we're currently only covering pulmonary infections, but what we do is we say, okay, well, here's the basic high-level findings you might see that... Uh, so just read some of those headings so there. So inter yeah. interstitial opacity, solitary pulmonary nodules or masses, a medial stinal abnormality or multiple pulmonary nodules or masses. So those are just kind of findings, not diagnoses. Not, correct. And this correct. is kind of what you were saying before, which is that if you have a, a, a product that shows you the findings of a disease, it only helps you if you know the diagnosis. Right, right. Yeah. So if I said, okay, the patient has an interstitial opacity, and I said, okay, well, your patient also has HIV. You took okay. a history, they have HIV. I go ahead, I type in HIV, and then select HIV, sit done, it's going to show me what the differential is of an interstitial pattern in an HIV patient. HIV. So 
way, as you're thinking about cryptococcosis, pneumos yeah. herpes simplex pneumonia, pneumocystis pneumonia, and yeah. TB, and you probably wouldn't have been able to think about that. Yeah. So, 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 I, so I can imagine the ER doc using this while walking between patients. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So, you know, we can't memorize everything in medicine. There's too much to know. And the idea is that, you know, memory tools help us to, to think. They don't think for us. Yeah. They organize the information. Then we use our professional judgment yeah. to make better decisions. Still have to be the doctor. Yeah. Okay. Allows you to be the doctor, spend more time with your patients rather than running to the books. Thank you. Yeah.